what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Like literally, if iDubs broke both of his legs and lost all of his subscribers, I would be genuinely happy. Like he's a terrible person. Like you're white and you just say the n-word. I tweeted him, and I I don't remember exactly what I said. I'm sure you could find it, but it was like you have five million subscribers. You say the n-word in your video. Like that's not cool. Kill yourself. And I didn't delete it because that wasn't my feelings. You know, like I don't fuck with him. I can't believe he has five million subscribers. I do think that's racist. I know some people may disagree. I deleted it because I don't like saying kill yourself. I guess he never responded. I never saw a response. I never thought anything of it again. Like. I don't know, it was just a one-time thing. I didn't fuck with him, I didn't fuck with his videos. So now fast forward to the future. I guess the guy that came to my show trying to get me to say the N-word in my video that I'm crying over, that I was terrified over, literally contemplated like canceling my tour. Now I have to like get all these metal detectors, all these security because I'm fucking terrified. This guy that legitimately terrified me was Idubs. She tweeted some really nice things at me. Road trip! Just a quick little pit stop, just so we're in fighting form when we go visit Tana Mojul. Road trip! If I could clone Tana Mongoose, I would have uh, 10,000 Tana Mongoose. <laughs> Road trip! Going to the fucking 7th Street, San Francisco. Time to get some Tana Mongoose. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Content Comp. Today's th theme on Content Comp is equality. That's right, I've made a lot of videos about dudes with dicks. But this time, I'm going to make a video about a woman with a vagina. We're talking about Tana Nojewel. She is a storytime YouTuber who speaks from the heart, but also embellishes her stories very heavily. To generalize her channel, I would compare it to the Uber driver kidnapped me meme. In fact, I believe that that meme was born from her channel, because her life is fucking crazy. She gets kidnapped, she gets banged, and she fights people. Her life is fucking bananas. Nah, I'm just kidding, it's not bananas. It's actually very mundane. If you boil down any of her videos, you realize, holy shit, I've gotten in arguments before. Someone has lied about me before. I've had a horrible experience with customer service representatives as well. Now, this is a story all about how Disney Star stole my money for cocaine. Now, this is a story all about how Guru Gossip Spy drugged me at Playlist Live. And now, this is a story all about how I was involved in a shooting. For those of you who don't follow the drama, I'll give you a brief rundown of what's happened so far. A couple months ago, Tana Mojo tweeted at me that she was very unhappy with my use of the N-word. I didn't respond to her tweet. Instead, I did a bit of research and I found out that she used the dreaded N-word in the past. But she didn't use the N-word in the same way that I use it. She used it in a very mean-spirited way. You know you're a stupid 
Growing up in Vegas, everybody said those words, and I didn't even know that they were considered racist at all. They were in rap songs, and I totally thought it just meant like homie or like friend. She does a very poor job of trying to explain it away. She's saying, I was 13 or 14. I didn't understand the use of the word. I always thought it meant friend or homie, despite my use of it being, you know you a stupid right? No one says friend or homie in that way, Tana. Also, you can't plead ignorance because every high school student in America has learned about slavery. I don't know what you're fucking on about. But it's hard to be filled with regret because I was just ignorant and uninformed. My parents never said anything. No one ever told me. Until like four years later when people were like, hey, these are racist. And I was like, what? Like, what do you mean? Like, it's in every rap song. Like, Mac Miller says it. He's white. Like, what's... Well, they never say it with hard R and rap songs. Fucking... Obviously, her explanations are dog shit. None of it adds up. So what I decided to do was take this word that she's so fucking passionate about that she tweets at me, kill yourself, and that she'll vilify me on her live streams about, and I decided to take it to her front door and see how she'd react if I simply asked her to say the dreaded N-word. I may finally have found a place where I can be all N-word. 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 What else can be said about this topic that hasn't been said already? Not much. Pretty much everyone said it already. But uh, here's some clips of Tana saying that context isn't important. Okay, but when you <laughs> but when you're reading it, even if you're just saying it, even if you're reading something that somebody else says, you're saying I'm a white person and I think it's okay to say that word. It doesn't matter the context that you say it in. It's still racist. It doesn't matter the context you say it in. It's still racist. Listen up, teachers of America. If you've ever read aloud Huckleberry Finn to your students. You've engaged in an act of racism. The supporters call themselves N-words. Like, that's what they call each other. Oh, Tana. You're, just, you're gonna drop the F-bomb like that? Listen, Tana. It doesn't matter the context you use it in. It's still homophobic. Obviously, that's just a bit of hyperbole on my part, but I think it illustrates the point quite well that we are very fucking stupid to hold the word at this colossally high standard, whereas... Every other slur, that, that can be used in a comedic sense or an editorial sense, but not this one, because that one has history. Well, guess what, fucking retards? All the other ones have history, too. Yeah, yeah, Asian people didn't get their fucking heads ran, ran over in World War II. They weren't thrown into internment camps. But yeah, but, uh, you, but you can't say that one because it's got sort of a... It's guttural. Either all of them are okay, or none of them are okay. But if you try to come online and tell me that I can't say a particular word, but you say words that are just as offensive, in the famous words of Tana Mojo, Kill yourself. It's literally like the definition of desensitizing society to the N-word and taking us a million steps back. Tana, you are dumb. It is the exact opposite. This is a very important lesson in critical thinking. Have you or your friends ever said a word so frequently that it's lost a lot of the initial punch that it had and eventually it just lost all meaning entirely? You should say yes because it happens all the time. I remember initially hearing the word cunt and how, how awful that sounded, but I've used it so frequently that it means fucking nothing to me now. Cunt. Cunt. Tech cunt. Tech cunt here. Okay, cunt. So all of you people out there who hold these words at such high esteem, you are giving it the power that you so desperately want it to not have. Another point that people like Tana seem to miss is that you can critique people's use of the word. You, you can even critique my going to your show and doing it in that sense. You can say, well, that wasn't even funny, because it really wasn't. I, I replaced say cheese with say nigger. How funny is that? Not really funny, but what is funny is your reaction to it. So yes, you're allowed to be critical of someone's use of the word. If you think it's not funny or you think it's cringy, leave in the comments. When you said the word my dick retracted inside of my body. 
And if you're a very observant person, you might notice a video from a year ago where I actually critique the use of the word when I'm doing a bad unboxing. The, the whole joke here is the word. Let's laugh out loud in the comments, you guys. <laughs> it's incredible how much more intelligent you would have looked if during the event where I came and said, say, if you just said, wow, you're a very uncomfortable person and you're not very funny. What a pathetic joke. You would have j just destroyed me. But you couldn't do that because you're the most predictable human being on the planet. Oh my fucking god. Today's the Tanamongu concert. Oh my god, today's the Tanamongu concert. I'm gonna be late. Do you guys have uh, hoodies at all? What is he gonna do? What is he capable of? Is he gonna hurt my manager, my tour manager? Is he gonna hurt somebody I love? I didn't make videos for my my videos to be a place and a space of negativity. If iDubs broke both of his legs and lost all of his subscribers, I would be genuinely happy. The entire comment section is just like nothing but fucking hate. For being a person who's constantly preaching about being more tolerant of others and spreading positivity and spreading love to other people, you sure are one hateful bitch. And I don't want to make videos. I'm not just going to continue to make videos and fight for it. All of you turning on me breaks my heart. And I know it's very hard to listen to all the logic heart. with all the tears going <laughs> on, but just tune out the crime for a moment and uh, realize so that she's a complete hypocrite like... by complaining about all the hate in the comments and then on her live stream. Fuck, fuck this cunt. I hope he, I hope he breaks both of his legs and loses all the subscribers. But all this hate in the comments, it's okay when I'm hating. But when other people are hating me, strictly off limits, guys. And I do everything I can to spread the message of being against racism. What more can I do? To spread the message of being against racism. I'm, I'm against racism. It sounds like it was said by a five-year-old. I'm also gonna spread the message of being against rape and being against murder. It's bad. This is the epitome of being a basic bitch. I told myself before I started YouTube that I was gonna be different and that I wasn't gonna be like every other YouTuber and that I wasn't gonna be the sellout average blonde bimbo on YouTube. I was gonna be someone different. I just wanna give up. Any other things you're against there, Einstein? Mm -hmm. e eating your own shit. I think eating your own shit is bad. What the fuck I did to iDubs to deserve any of this? Broke both of his legs and lost all of his subscribers, I would be genuinely happy. I, like, I don't know what I did to this human being. Broke both of his legs. I don't understand what I did to deserve this. Broke both of his legs and lost all of his subscribers, I would be genuinely happy. Like, he's a terrible person. I wouldn't label Tana a racist. You fucking No, not because she's a crusader for Black Lives Matter. I mean, honestly, would I make my Twitter name Black Lives Matter for months when everyone was telling me to change it if I wasn't such a giant fucking advocate for Black Lives Matter? I wouldn't deem her racist because I don't know what's in here or what's in here. But the fascinating part about all of this is that she won't offer me or any of you guys the same level of respect. It's like no one fucking cares that he's a racist and it sucks so bad. Being a fucking racist. You're fucking racist, and that's not fucking cool. We're gonna be like the last ones to see Tana, so I'm pretty thrilled about that. And we're gonna be like that little cherry on top, so a little whipped cream fluff frosting. Is it worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth it. Let's go ahead and take a picture because this camera's like the future. Oh, Like, 
like around my neck like this and it, it wasn't like it was like a chokehold or anything it was it was very like firm and like tight like I couldn't have really gotten out if that makes sense I, I'll explain that in a second and so the guy looks at me and he wraps his arm around me and he looks at the camera and he goes say and he puts his thumbs up and then like blink and he says the n-word like hard r n-word like say n-word like hard r like smiley like, loud as fuck like yells it and like looks at me and looks at me and the camera like say Please imagine, like, say, like, like, yelling, thumbs up, arm locked around me. Say. And I literally, like, I don't even know how to describe this moment to you guys. I never understood how people would feel in moments like that where you were scared for so many reasons, for your life, for other people's lives. So then I kind of try to, like, break free, you know what I mean? Like, like, get his arm away from me and for, like, and so, like, the first time I tried to, like, he didn't, like, let go. And that's where my brain instincts like, okay, does he have a gun? Does he have a knife? Like, whatever. This was very quick. It wasn't like he held me in for much longer. And then I pull away harder and finally pull away. That's where my brain is like, do I run? Do I scream? Do I cry? Do I hide? Do I cuss him out? Do I ask him what's wrong? Like, I don't know what to do, you know? I'm just, and he's just looking at me like, with the creepiest, most terrifying smile. Exaggerator. A story time Pokemon, also known as the physical embodiment of hypocrisy. Each face tells a different story. He fucked me with a toothbrush! I'd like you to battle these executor for me. In this section of the video, I want to address the exaggerations and small details that she embellishes just to make the story more interesting. And I look at him and I'm like, no, and like we had to kick him out. He was like trying to fight people and it was really a sketchy situation to be honest with you. He was like trying to fight people and he was like trying to fight people and it was like, We're getting kicked out apparently. Go. I just want to I'm VIP though. I'm VIP. That was just a bit of editing. No punches were actually thrown. Believe it or not, I wasn't there to fight 12 year olds or your security detail. If you can't tell, I'm, I'm not the strongest, most ripped dude on the planet. Wasn't really interested in fighting, just interested in the little bit of tomfoolery with you. Another thing that Tana got wrong that really infuriates me is she said I gave a thumbs up. I'm not a fucking animal, Tana. I wouldn't give a thumbs up after saying a racial slur. And it puts his thumbs up, like yelling, thumbs up. Here's a few more details that she just got wrong, just for no fucking reason at all. Like, you can easily research any of this shit. Bought a $200 ticket to my meet and greet and my show. Like, he's... 30. He's a 30 year old man. He knows what the word means. And his five fucking million subscribers are all just fine. I know all this Tana shit is like a week old at this point, and to be fair, I was planning on being able to work on it for a lot longer. But hopefully, you guys were able to get some new insight on the situation, or at least have a couple laughs. To all the preteen girls who attended Tana's event, Feel free to click the subscribe button down below to thank me for making Tana's boring event that much more bearable. You're welcome. Fucking someone in the middle of Target, literally fucking riding a dick in the middle of Target. Like, PewDiePie has 50 million subscribers and he could do a lot with that. He could come on and definitely say, you know, that was wrong and racism is wrong. And having a president that advocates for inequality, racist acts, hate crimes. This could only be the beginning because of the person that is telling the entire world it's okay to be like this. We are the next generation. Tana, you are not a social activist, nor are you a good person because you're bloviating on and about about being against racism and being for equality and spreading positivity. If you really want to be this social activist character and you really want to be known for that, then go out in the streets and march with feminists and uh, take off your shirt and write free the nipple on your chest and do shit like that. Because I'm, I feel as if that's sort of the impact you want to put out there on society. But if it's not and you just want to continue being a basic bitch, then just say at the beginning of each of your videos, I'm spreading the message of equality. I'm gonna wrap up this video with a phrase that most logical people can get behind. I mentioned it earlier in the video and that is it's either all okay or none of it's okay. It's important to remember if you ever mistakenly identify a word as off-limits. No words are off-limits. You're allowed to get offended by the words and say, oh, I, I, I didn't like that very much. But for you to come at the person and say, you're a bad person for saying this. You're racist for saying this. At the end of the day, everything's a choice. Black people can choose to get offended by black slurs. Asian people can choose to get offended by Asian slurs. 
White people can choose to get offended by black slurs, and ten among you can choose to get offended by black slurs. At the end of the day, it seems like white people are really just trying to uh, make up for all of the torment that we've inflicted on black people. Well, keep at your crusade. I'm going to continue to act like they're normal human beings. We are the next generation. We are the next generation. Say. Put your pussy fingers to the moon. He's angry, you know, what is he gonna do? What is he capable of? Is he gonna hurt my manager, my tour manager? Is he gonna hurt somebody I love? Fucking someone in the middle of Target! Literally fucking riding a dick in the middle of Target! Like, we're all equal and we all need to use our voices to spread that privileged little white Georgia man didn't get what the fuck he wanted! I'm not really sitting here, like, preaching. I normally have blonde hair and I'm, like, fuckable. Like, it's like a thing, like, because this really shook me. Like, you're a piece of shit! You're an asshole! Cunt! That she just, like, was a cunt. I'm the nicest person. <gasps> I always say you can't expose me because I'll expose myself first. Lumpy Muffin Mama, Saggy Titty Grandma.